Hi guys, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Christian, how you doing? Andrea, good evening. How are you guys? Uh, Arnoldo, hello. So happy Wednesday. How are you doing, people? Good evening. Is everything okay? Good evening. <coughs> Is everything okay? Everything good? Everything fine? Do you have any, any gossip to tell us? <laughs> Do you have like any information for us? ¿Qué tal su miércoles, guys? How is your Wednesday going? Everything all right? Oh, yes. It's all right. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's really good to know. Um, Arnoldo, are you working? Are you currently working? Yes, I am working. Oh, okay. Okay, got that. Uh, got it. So thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Andre, are you with us? Hi, Miss. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Uh, fine. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like... Eh. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, uh, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, so welcome to this Wednesday, you know, belly bottom of the week. Ya huele vacacion. I know. So we are like super close to vacation. Guys, van a descansar. Are you going to rest a couple of days? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> How many days are you going to get? No. No, and seriously. Oh, why? What do you do, Christian? I work in La Libertad. Okay. And there's no... A vacation? No. But why not? Because it's La Libertad, um, not San Salvador. Um, got it, got it. Okay, I hadn't understood. For a moment, I was like, well, why not? Okay, got it. So you normally get vacation when it is like the celebration for La Libertad, for that specific area. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So, but you're not getting like the national one, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, or something like that. So you're not getting like any day at all. Mm, it's the Saturday. Okay, so you're getting Saturday off. Okay, okay. Well, but something is something, you know. So that gotta work. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. How are you, people? Is everything okay? Everything good? Why, why? Everything good. Lightning doesn't look good. Okay, nice. Nice to hear that. I think that is Adolfo's voice. Hi, Adolfo. Helen, good evening. Thanks for joining, Helen. Guy, hello. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. Everything all right? So you're not working today? Why did you? Helen? The Camino teacher. Ah, on your way. Okay, okay. So your be way. safe, please. Hopefully uh, you get home sound and safe. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. It's really nice to get started with session number three today. Um, tenemos una actividad pendiente from yesterday, right? But la vamos a hacer almost like at the end of the session because we have a couple of things uh, to check. Uh, so let me see what else. Uh, guys, solamente un, a little reminder. Eh, terminamos la unidad número uno by um, kind of next week, but still, guys, si les pido que para viernes, antes de irnos a vacación, right, eh, podamos terminar la unidad número uno. So you can finish unit number one in the platform. And in that way, ya se van mucho más tranquilos. Of course, si pueden avanzar un poco más with the platform, that would be amazing. Um, okay. Guys, normally the platform is uh, like, uh, parte de los temas que revisamos is what is included in the platform. Si ya la revisaron, los ejercicios are like super similar. And uh, so my recommendation is 
que lo hagamos si es posible antes, you know, before classes or after classes para que no se les vaya a acumular. No es largo, no les va a requerir mucho tiempo, but si se les acumula, obviously at the end van a sentir que nunca termina, right? Because that's super common. Uh, so guys, ayúdenme con la plataforma, please. Empiecen a trabajar, get familiar with it. And I'm sure uh, you're not going to have big issues. Um, Judy, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Kenya, hello. Thank you for joining as well. Really nice to see you. Um, so guys, let's get started today with part of the uh, things that we are going to be checking. And I have some questions for you. So the first one we have right here is this one. Um, we are going to talk today a little bit about preferences, right? So we are going to be discussing what you prefer, uh, what is okay for you, uh, what you like, right? So my first question, guys, for you is this one. Would you rather eat ice cream or french fries? Um, you can choose only one. And I want you to tell me why using the expression we have here. I'd rather, I'd rather eat. I rather taste, I rather buy, I rather make, I don't know if you can make ice cream or something. And it says, because. Guys, which would you rather take, ice cream or french fries and why? So give us your opinion on this. Guys, what do you prefer, french fries or do you prefer ice cream? Hi, Angelica. Good evening. Tell me hello. I hope you're better. Tell me. Better. Thanks to good. Um, better. Feeling better? Se siente mucho mejor today. Are you feeling yes. better? Oh, okay. Pero nice. para decirle gracias a Dios. Better. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, okay. thank uh, so you can just say, thank God. Mm -hmm. So thank God, that's it. Oh, okay. so is your back better? Ya no le molesta, so you're not having big issues? Poco. Ah, okay, okay. But did you go to the doctor? No. No, tome aparte yo. Ah, okay. Well, I hope it's nothing like, Nothing so serious, right? But uh, igual los dolores de, de espalda es como, oh, you know, I'm super scared of them. So, <laughs> okay, pero me alegra que ya está mejor. So I'm glad Thank you're you. feeling better. It's so great to have you back. Uh, okay, guys. So um, coming back here, uh, what would you rather uh, select? What would you prefer, guys? Ice cream or French fries? Um, can you give me one emoji, please, the people who vote for the ice cream? Who likes ice cream? Nobody, come on, guys, seriously. I only see Adolfo raising his hand and the rest, guys, me pueden dar emojis too. You can, like, activate some emojis over here. Uh, remember that Zoom tiene la opción de emojis, eh, so you can choose, like, one ice cream emoji or french fry emoji in case you don't want to speak. So uh, let me see. Si hay sorbe oh, yes, yes, yes. I ice cream. So you have an ice cream there. So you have ice creams, you have french fries. Good evening. So guys, what would you take? Okay, Andre goes for uh, french fries. Okay. And the rest, guys. Nothing. For me, I prefer ice cream okay why why is ice cream better i love ice cream yes i love ice, ice cream why yes. why would you choose it is more fresh mm -hmm. is flavors ah very nice okay some more mm. flavors fresh yes Especially con esos calores, right? With this weather, the heat, the temperature. Okay, so Judy goes for the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Guys, and the rest of you, ice cream or french fries? Arnoldo says, I think it depends on the flavor of the ice cream. 
And who made who are who made the French fries? Uh, okay, so Arnoldo, if you but if you had to select, you can only pick one. So what would you select? Yes, tell me. I prefer the ice cream because it's lower fat. Ay, excuse me. <laughs> Very interesting. Really? Is that for real? Like ice cream has less fat? Less calories? Less. Less calories. Okay. Less calories. Interesting, you know, because siempre he pensado lo opuesto. I have always thought the opposite, that uh, ice cream is super delicious, pero tiene mucha azúcar. It has a lot of sugar. I don't know. Guys, nadie es nutri, right? We don't have like any doctor here. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Uh -huh. I can choose only one. <laughs> okay, Arnaldo, so you cannot choose only one. Guys, and the rest of you, so french fries who is french fries team andrea why french fries okay i rather french fries because i love potatoes and i com combine yes french fries with ketchup mustard uh, mayo mayo oh okay but the, you like potatoes i'm sorry but you like potatoes like in different uh ways of cook or yeah. or just french fries no i love potatoes <laughs> in cualquier tipo de comida any so anyway okay so like smashed potatoes anyway, like puré papas mashed potatoes french fries in soup so oh yeah. Interesting. I, I recommend uh, taste taste you uh, red fries of Wendy's. Oh, are very delicious. They are really good. Oh well, I like those. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer Wendy's rather than uh, like Burger King or the others. Okay, nice guys. And the rest of you. Ice cream or French fries and why? Arnoldo says that it's so difficult for him to decide. But guys, what about the rest of you? What would you take? So Adolfo, French fries or ice cream? Ice cream, of course, because we we can mix uh, some so many flavors, two, three flavors. And and I prefer the sweety than salty. Ah, okay. So you prefer sweet things. Oh, very. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, hi, Carlos. Hi, Angelica. Welcome, guys. Hey, you. Uh, how Good are night. you doing? Good evening. So, yeah. guys, we are like discussing here if you are team ice cream team or the French fries team. So, Angelica, which one do you belong to? Yeah, ice cream. <laughs> why? Oh, a lot of people prefer ice cream. Okay, why? <laughs> uh, well, uh, like uh, Adolfo says, I prefer something sweet than a salty thing. And when I work uh, out of the... I prefer take a milkshake for a, a, I don't know, a... a a meal complete, uh, mm -hmm. you say French fries or meal or meal. But it's for me, it's very easy and it's very um, common for the uh, the calories they apport in the in the day. It's more I don't know, but it's more. Um, I don't know if the calorie of the sugar make. Uh, I feel more, uh, well, more en energy. Oh, well. you feel more energy. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. So uh, it's super delicious, but if you are on a diet, oh God, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if, but probably you do a lot of exercise or your job is not like in the office, but you go out. Uh -huh. So yeah. that is that is uh, what makes it different. 
In my case, I love ice cream. I prefer ice cream, uh, especially like cookie ice cream. Ooh, I love it, guys. Uh, <laughs> but as you said, it has a lot of calories, so it's bad for me. Okay, okay, so interesting. Guys, let's go for the next one. I have a couple of more um, slides, so you can uh, make a choice here. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. So would you rather be an Olympian athlete right? A person who has won uh, medals, probably representing El Salvador, gold medals, uh, silver medals, etc., or just an athlete or a movie star. If you have to make a, a choice here, if you had to choose, what would you choose? Guys, an Olympian athlete or um, uh, a movie star? I will the I would rather Olympians. Oh, okay. So you you rather be an Olympian? Why? Why yeah. an Olympian? Because uh, a because movie star it, makes more money. <laughs> so yeah. why? The, the um because I because I I have an opportunity to improve my health, for example, and I represent my country. Ah, okay. Sounds good. So you you can represent your country. Um, yeah. Do you have any specific sport that you would like to, you know? I love I, I love trekking and mountain. Ah, okay. So mountain biking, biking yeah. or trekking? No, trekking. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds all right. Sounds really nice. So Olympian guys and the rest of you. What about the others? Christian. Hi, Noemi. Good evening. Uh, Daniel, Kenya. What about you guys? Helen. Uh, so would you take, would you rather be an Olympian or a movie star? In my case, a movie star, guys. <laughs> I would rather be a movie star because, yeah, an Olympian is super famous in the country, but a movie star can travel <laughs> more, more and they have more money. And I love acting. So I don't know, guys. What are your thoughts here? I totally agree with you, Miss. So you like to be more, a movie more star. money. Yes. Okay, so more money. I know that Olympians get money, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys. What about the rest of you, Carlos? Yes, tell, tell us, tell us. No sé si fue no mí. I think I heard a girl's voice. I don't know. Yes. Maybe a movie star. A movie star. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because of because of the money, because of fame. Why? Everything. Money, fame, uh, fun, traveling. Oh, okay. Yeah, and a sponsorship, right? <laughs> so they they yeah. have a lot of sponsorship too. A sponsorship. Que les pagan todo, right? So a sponsorship. Okay. Okay, sounds all right. Guys, anybody else? Movie star or Olympian? Movie star, teacher. Movie star, Daniel. <laughs> Why? Yeah, the, the, the money, the travel. And famous uh, around the uh, around the world. <laughs> yes. Okay, interesting. Yes. And over the years, right? If, for example, imagine this Van uh, Damme, you know, that he's um, old. Yes. For, for a long year, uh, a, a lot of years. Ah, exactly. Yes. So for yes. a long, long, long period of time, you still remember them. Okay. Okay, but an Olympian is like, as Adolfo said, you feel proud to represent your country. So yeah. definitely both are nice. Okay, guys, this is a little sad, I have to say. Um, it says, would you rather love, but be, uh, or have, you know, a heartbreak, right? So have a heartache or never love at all. I don't know what you think about it. I don't know if you have an opinion on this. Um, so what do you think is better uh, to love but feel disappointed or upset? Or to say, oh, I, I have never been in love. So which mm. would be better? Which would you prefer? 
please don't cry if it is too personal. It's <laughs> complicated. You can hold it. The first, it. The I, first can, one. The first I, one. Love, yeah, but have a heartache. I, I prefer love, but have a hair. A heartache. Excuse me. Like a, a movie. Uh, loving, yeah, yeah. Like the song. It's a heartache. It's okay. a heartache. Oh, okay. So love, but have a heartache. But heartache. why? Yeah. Why? Because um, we are living, uh, or in our life, we have to uh, we have to live an experience with somebody, of course. Okay. So it is necessary at some point, right? No, <laughs> maybe. Okay, it's part of your life. <laughs> So it is part of the process, probably. Guys, what about the rest? Thank you, Adolfo. Uh -huh. So love but have a heartache or never love? Just Christian. I think the first one, too. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, I think uh, never to love at all is very sad. Uh, okay. But have a heartache, it's sad too. <laughs> I mean, both are sad. <laughs> now you get a point. Okay, so you can be sad. I mean, I'm just like, I'm just like pushing you, you know, so you can give me the, the opposite idea or I don't know, convince me guys. So, but, but it's all right, it's all right. Life is sad too, but we get all deep. Okay, but, but Carlos, <laughs> if you get to choose, uh, if you had the, the chance to, to select, I don't know, wh what do you think it's better? So would you rather love, you know, but feel disappointed, sad, or simply not to have feelings for anybody? I think, uh, as you say, uh, that is part of life. And we, we burn meetings, uh, love, uh, then there's many things in the in the work of life. Uh, we we are uh, needing more more love, and depend on the age we are living. We for costumbre por necesidad. Oh, oh, <laughs> pues, okay. ¿verdad? Eh, eh, muchas veces, como dicen, necesitamos, pero a la hora de las horas también no podemos estar. ¿verdad? Y es así, se viven en dilemas normalmente, pero al final es parte de la vida. Yeah, so it's part of the experiences. Yeah. Something yeah. necessary to yeah. grow, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and to learn. Or not to learn, but to grow. To learn. <laughs> okay, so we learn have to with work pain. Learn. Learn, learn what is pain. <laughs> okay, here we have this expression that is out of custom, like parte de la costumbre, right? Or something that is super customary for us. Okay, very nice, guys. So if you take a look, here we have this expression, would you rather? Um, would you and normally rather? is because we need to make a decision we need to select one of them hi iris good evening thanks for joining here good evening. so um let me just show you this bar super quick uh in english we have different ways to uh, give recommendations to talk about preferences to talk about the things that we want or the things that we like so a couple of the most common expressions are like i like or I simply say, I would like, right? Uh, can you give me another? What is another way to talk about preferences? So I, I like, I would like, I prefer, yes. What else? Do you have any other? Mm -hmm. I, show. Show. I, oh, I choose, yes. Show. Show. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. this is past. I choose, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I select, probably, etc. Uh, so, yes. I yes. I decide. Mm -hmm. Ah, I decide. Yeah, definitely. So, because we are talking about preferences, things that at some point um, is like our on our hands or part of our decisions. So, but we also have these two expressions to talk about preferences. 
Uh, one of them is have better, and the other one is I would rather. So both of them expresses uh, preferences. What is the difference? If you take a look here, let's start with would rather. Would rather expresses preferences and would rather is similar to I would prefer. The same, but it sounds beautiful, right? So it is getting too noisy here. I'd rather live now. Oh, look at this, I'd rather. So this is I would rather. This is the contraction. So you can say I would rather or I'd rather live here. So that's like, I prefer. I prefer to live, I prefer to go. Um, that's my decision, you know, I would like to go. So I'd rather watch TV this evening than go to the movies. So we have these two choices. I'd rather do this than the other thing. I'd rather watch TV than go to the movies. Guys, do you agree with this? Does it represent you? Uh, does the sentence, I would rather watch TV this evening than go to the movies, represent you? Or I would rather watch Netflix than go to the movies. Does the sentence represent you? Do you prefer to go to a stay at home and watch Netflix? Yes. For me, time. yes. <laughs> <laughs> For everybody. <laughs> oh, yes. nobody goes to the movies, guys. Come on. I, 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 uh, I, uh, a lot of years ago, don't go, uh, don't go to the movie, to the cinema. Yeah, I have been going to the cinema ooh, in a lot of time as well, okay? So that is I rather. So I prefer to do this, but I want you to take a look at this because we normally have two parts. So I rather, and then I we rather. have done. So I rather do this than, it's like a comparison, right? I would rather watch this evening uh, TV than go to the movies. The negative, what about the negative? It says, I would rather becomes, would rather would, not. Would oh, rather look not. at this. This is a negative form. I'd rather not go out. Go, go out this evening. I'd rather not eat any more if you don't mind. So uh, would you like to go out this evening? I'd rather not. So this is the negative form to express ideas we would rather. Guys, if you had to select part of your preferences, uh, so what are the things that you prefer? What are the things that you like the most, for example? Um, let's think about a couple of situations and you give us some ideas. So give me just a moment. So let's, let's remember this. We are going to use a rather and then one verb. This is very important. So give me one second. Let me see if I can share my whiteboard so you can give me a couple of um, examples here. So imagine, for example, that we are talking about, um, let me see, things that we can compare. Um, okay, so live, Oopsie. Oh my God, what is going on? So live abroad. Um, so imagine that we are giving some opinions about living abroad. Uh, remember that live abroad lives, uh, means live in another country. So this is another country, right? For example, if you live in, I don't know, Mexico, USA, uh, Guatemala, so that is called live abroad, you live in another country. So um, get, I don't know, get married, for example. Can you give me more, more topics that we can um, make opinions based on? Place, place to go. Places, know. okay, places to visit, yes. <laughs> places to visit and money. Okay, okay, guys, so if you have to give your opinion based on these four topics, what opinions do you have? So let's use I would rather, right? Or I'd rather. So remember that this is I would rather, or the short form. So for this one is uh, I'd rather. 
In the negative form, we just include the not at the end. So there we go. Okay, so in my case, for example, uh, with money, so it mm -hmm. says, um, one of my opinions is that uh, I'd rather, I'd rather um, buy things, uh, cash, you know, uh, and then I need to find a way to express the other idea. So what is the word that I need? I need than here because I'm going to like make my opinion based on two ideas. So I'd rather buy things cash than use my credit card. Oh, look at this. So when we are talking about money, uh, I am super careful with my credit card. I don't really like to use it if I don't have enough money. So I'd rather buy things cash, you know, prefiero ahorrar, I preferred, or I'd rather uh, save a lot of money and buy things cash, than use my credit card. Guys, do you agree with this? Do you do something similar or do you, uh, would you rather use your credit card to buy something super expensive? Um, I, I have a question uh, mm -hmm. uh, about the contraction. Uh, mm -hmm. I would rather, the contraction is I'd rather. Yes, I'd rather. Uh, up, I is rather. I'm so sorry, you're, you're cutting off a little bit. Can you say that again? Can you repeat? Uh, up, the, the the upper, up, up says ice brother in the whiteboard. You put a D instead of a, a, a I'm sorry, you put a S instead of D. Uh, so we put an S instead Each of- Each brother. Contraction I, I brother. Up. So you you mentioned that that is in the material, right? Uh huh. Arriba let, teacher. Let me arriba arriba he's with uh, S with S. Y abajo usa Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the sorry about that? Yes, mm -hmm. no, no, no. I'm sorry about this. That this is my bad. I was like, wait, it is in the book. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, that, that's my bad. So yeah, yes, this is D. Right. Uh, if you you can take a look at this one, right? So that is the, mm, so this one is the correct contraction for I would, I like when you say I would like, right? So we normally say I'd like. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank okay. you so much. I'm sorry, this this was my my typo, error de, de, de cloud. <laughs> error de cloud, that was a typo. Error finger. <laughs> yeah. No, we normally use that word or we call it typo como error de, de digitación, right? So that is my typo. Mm -hmm. typo. Okay. So yes, I'd rather buy things cash than use my credit card. So that is my example in regards to money. But obviously you may have a couple of more ideas based on these. Um, if we talk about places to visit, I don't know, I'd rather go out of the country than spend a lot of money here in the Cameroon, for example. <laughs> so uh, I'd rather go to Guatemala or Central America than go into uh, the Cameroon, I, right? So, I'd rather, I rather go to the mountain than go to the beach. <laughs> I yeah in my, in my case uh -huh, in my case <laughs> exactly no but I agree I agree that's even better so guys if we are talking about this living abroad or living in another country what are what is your opinion on this if we're talking about getting married what is the thing that you preferred or what is your decision on getting married so um if I don't for example if I want to say oh I prefer not to get married Como lo expresaría, guys? How can we express that? Like using rather, using would rather. And if I want and to say, I'd uh -huh. rather get married. Uh -huh. I'd rather get married. But if I want to say this like in a negative way, like, ay, yo mejor ni me caso. <laughs> so how uh, would you express this? For me, it's too late. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so it is a regret. <laughs> no, but, but it's still, you know, it's still. Me puede recomendaciones. I'd rather, uh -huh. rather be single. 
Oh, very nice. Uh, I'd rather mm -hmm. be single. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, than being married. Very nice. Or if we want to make a negative sentence, remember that with rather, we are going to include uh, the not after rather. I'd rather not. I'd rather not get married. Get exactly. Ay, yo mejor ni me caso. Or when we want to talk about our jobs and we say, um, mejor no renuncio. So I'd rather not... Um, what resign uh, you know if i am not sure that that i will get another job so yeah so i'd rather not this is the negative sentence or the negative way to express ideas with preferences so guys uh can you give us a couple of your sentences and a couple of your ideas please i will give you five minutes please write them okay i think it's easier if you write your ideas in your notebook so living abroad getting married or being single. I mean, ¿cuál es su idea? What, what's your idea on this? Um, so remember that this is yo preferiría, yeah? This is my preference. Um, so I'd rather make a prenuptial agreement than, uh, I don't know, getting married um, with, I don't know. So whatever idea you may have. Places to visit. So you can talk about some places to visit too. What's your opinion on this? Money, especially about money. Creo que todos tenemos ideas diferentes. So what's your point of view based on money? So I'd rather not invest in Bitcoin, for example, because I don't really um, trust the system. So I, uh, I'd rather use uh, back than Banco Agricola because I think that's better. So whatever idea you may have on money, transactions, banking, so that is welcome. Guys, I'll give you five minutes. Uh, let's write your examples and then we share them. Um, so in case you have questions, we can clarify that too. Yes, Andrea, tell me. Please, I, I have a question. Uh, the verb is in base form. Yes, that is a very good. Okay. Um, that's a very good observation. Yes. So the verb that is always, always, always in the base form. So we normally have, I would rather buy. So we never modify it. I would rather buy. I would rather not get married. Of course, in past, that is another way to express it, but um, that would be it. Yes. We never change it. Even if we use third person, that would not change. Like she would rather not get. Oh, the same. So we never modify verbs here. Mm -hmm. Five minutes, guys. You can write your examples, or if you feel more comfortable, you can use the chat. You can write them in the chat. That is okay. That's perfect.
Uh, questions, guys, comments, uh, are you struggling with anything? I'd rather not buy with credit card. I'd rather visit the mountain than most. I prefer to have money in bills because coins are heavy. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. So tell me that sounds really, really nice. And even in vez de prefer, podemos utilizar I would rather, and that would be perfect. So I would rather um, have money in bills because coins are heavy. Okay. I'd rather visit South American countries uh, than visit USA. Oh, Angelica, that's really interesting. So do you, do you prefer South American countries? Yes. Why? Interesting. Yes, the, well, if you think we have uh, cultures very similar, mm -hmm. but we have difference too. Mm -hmm. Uh, the communication obviously is more easy, but uh, the difference uh, with the culture is very interesting. USA is like a, oh the the I don't know see all the expensive things, all technology, yes, but for me it's more interesting uh, take a, a travel in South America. Okay, so where where have you been? Which countries have you visited? Uh, that's one of, one of my wishes. I want to travel to Buenos Aires. Oh, Argentina. Argentina. Okay. Yes, and uh, Brasilia too. Oh, okay. Some something in I don't don't remember how. Uh, it's Uruguay. But I don't remember the city. Uruguay. Why? Yes. Oh, very it's... interesting. Okay. But because of the culture or anything in a specific? Uh, cultures and architectures too. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Nice. Yes. Montevideo is the capital of Uruguay. Yes, but I, I, <laughs> I saw something in, in a book, but I don't remember uh, the name of the city. It's different. It's not the ah, capital. Yes. Okay. 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 Uruguay. I don't know what you can find there, so probably <laughs> you can give us a hint. Mm -hmm. Uh, Helen, your sentence is very nice. Um, uh, go shopping on Sunday. Probably, uh, solamente vamos a cambiar instead of two. Uh, so agregamos rather, I'd rather go. And that's it. Excuse so, me. Sounds good. No worries, no problem. Your sentence is very nice. Solo un par de cambios there. And that's good. Uh, I'd rather eat the pussies than cook dinner. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay. I'd rather live near my family than live abroad. Oh, no, I mean, that calls my attention. I'd rather live near my family than live abroad. Why? Why so? Yeah. In my case, uh, my family is so close. Mm -hmm. Eh, Noemi, creo que el internet, uh, we are having internet issues. Eh, 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 si gusta, apague la camarita un momento. Grandma. So, our friends and they are is the no sé si soy yo. I don't know if it's me, guys, or uh, escuchamos a. Right, sir. Or escuchamos a Noemi un poco quebrada. Is she breaking a yes. little? Or am I breaking? Yes. 
Yes, um, yes. I think he has a problem. Hello. There, the sound is broken. Okay. Noemi? Uh, hello. Hi. Um, se usa hello. Apagamos la camarita un momento. Turn off your camera just a moment mientras el internet se estabiliza a little uh, because your voice is breaking a little bit. Usted si no se like escucha. Yes, I, I listen to you. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of, it's breaking a little bit. Um, So I'm sorry. You were I saying. I think my, my connect. I think so, pero con la cámara apagada a veces ya se normaliza. So it can work. Um, yes, I think it's my connection. I, I, I try to, to change. Me, give me a moment. No problem. Oh, but ya se escucha mejor. So we can listen to you better now. That's okay. Yes, it's my, it's my, con, it's my connection. I'm sorry. No, no worries. No worries. I say That's that. fine. Uh -huh. Yes, I say that and my family are, is, is, uh, is very close mm -hmm. um, because my, my both grandma, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they, um, were friends, they no. were friends, and they teach us that the family is the, the most important thing in the life. No. Um, I have some housing in, in another in another country, mm -hmm. but um, maybe to twice, uh, twice uh, again. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to say. Uh, say it in Spanish. They just, okay. disappear. They disappear. Oh. No, about them. Mm -hmm. Oh. And, oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry for for a lot of things uh, when we have some problems or. Or oh, we are sick. The family always um, be near, be close. Do you listen to me? Yeah, I mean, um, I kind of listen to the, to some of the ideas. Um, so you were saying that your grandmas, um, they were friends, and they taught you about the how important. Uh, you know, being close to your family is, um, but it it's like very interesting, you know, because everybody's like, oh, I'd rather go abroad. I'd rather uh, travel to another country. So um, your, your sentence got my attention because it's totally the opposite. So I, I'm glad, you know, to hear that. I'm really glad to, to read something like that. I mean, I'm reading now uh, Gabby's example, for example, y creo que es lo opuesto. I would say this is totally the opposite. So Gabby, uh, you have there, if I have the opportunity, the opportunity, I'd rather live in another country than in USA, than in El Salvador, because here there are not enough growing opportunities. So, uh, but G Gabby, do you have the chance to live in US? Yes, I do, but it's just an example because I'm really comfortable here. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> no, but, but I understand. But are you like in the citizenship process or in the residence process? Yes, but it's kind of complicated because I'm already 24, so oh. it's like a longer process. Oh, mm -hmm. no, but but you still have chances something, to, to go soon uh -huh, mm -hmm. okay so but this is only an example that is not for real <laughs> yeah. that was like oh come on gabby wants to go <laughs> okay um, i have there i rather i i would rather the people get married young than older oh okay guys we do have a couple of interesting ideas here um, and I want to bring one of them because they are actually the opposite. So I have one, one idea that you have written in the chat that says, 
Um, I'd rather not get married young because I can regret. And I have another idea that says uh, people would rather get married young than old. So guys, what is your point of view on that? So it's like I'd rather, or people, let's make it more general. So people would rather get married young than oil. Okay, guys, what are what is your opinion on this topic? So people uh, would rather get married young than old. What do you think? Do you agree with this statement? Do you disagree with this and why? Not in this time. Why not? Many young people wrong when they hear the, some other people talk about marriage they don't like it. i don't know why i don't know how they did it with with his family i don't know there are many young people that be afraid when, when they heard the topic and not only young <laughs> so we get scared yeah yes. i don't know why okay <laughs> okay guys what do you think <laughs> So people would rather get married young than old. Carlos says, no, not in these times. People is afraid of getting married. I agree. <laughs> okay, guys, what do you think here? Do you think it's a good idea for young people to get married? Not too much young, probably. Because we need madurar. Maturity. Maturity. Mm -hmm. We need to grow. There are no one inch, obviously. obviously. Uh, there are young people very mature. Okay. That they live with, they live many years. Uh, there are two people young that don't, don't live more than one, two year marriage. In, right. Okay, so relationship, hey. relationships can be like short, right? Pretty short. Okay, guys, oh, what about the rest of you? What do you think? People who are married, give us your opinion. So people would rather get married young than old. Do you agree with this? Or if you disagree, why do you disagree with this? If you find the law young it's no problem mm -hmm. but in my case i i married about 15 years ago oh <laughs> mm -hmm. the experience <laughs> so were you were you um so were you in your 20s when you got married or were you in your 30s in my 30s 38 okay you were in your 30s mm -hmm. when you got married. But do you think mm -hmm. this is like a very good idea? So people would rather get married young than old? So mm -hmm. people should? Uh, how, can, how, how, how can I say, if you find the, the, right, uh, the right person, mm -hmm. uh, do it, <laughs> oh, okay. marry, marry, marry young. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. how old you are, your soulmate. <laughs> so if you find your soulmate, get married, yeah, yeah. and that is okay. Yeah, All right, uh, I think Gabby said the opposite, that uh, people would rather not get married young because they can't regret. So Gabby, what's your point of view on this? Uh, well, I've been uh, thinking about this because um, I I know there are like uh, studios or there was uh, a lot of survey made that uh, says that young if get young people get married they get divorced very quick. Mm -hmm. So if you get uh, married when you are older, like you think and you know what you want, so you are not like playing with uh, the feelings of the other person and you are like uh, really sure what you want and you uh, te comprometes, you compromise uh, you with commit. the other, with mm -hmm. the, yeah, you uh, with the other person. So you decide and you have like a uh, dynamic courage to do things right. 
Mm, okay, very interesting. So mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that you read, right? You read some studies and uh, I think somebody already mentioned that they um, get divorced pretty soon. Uh, guys, what about the rest? What do you think? Boys, Teacher. yes, Iris, I'm glad <laughs> to hear you. Tell us, tell us. Uh, I think nowadays uh -huh. uh, people would rather get the uh, hold, maybe, um, to have a more economic, uh, economic stability, for example. Ah, okay, so people would rather get married old. Yes. Oh, but but what 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 is your your point of view on this one? Um, so, do you think it's okay to get married when you are young? The, uh, or before, do you think it's better? The... Mm -hmm. Tell us, tell us, tell us. I'm sorry. No, I I, I consider uh, before they prefer. Uh, the, the people would rather get a uh, junk, mm -hmm. but now, uh, nowadays, uh, lo que yo he visto, uh, would rather uh, ho uh, mm -hmm. hold. So people would rather wait uh, some years, right? Okay. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, Iris, uh, I I'm sorry if this is too personal. May I ask? If you are married, can I know if you are, are you married? married? I would like to know if you are married. <laughs> so, Iris, are you married? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, but okay. Were you... Yes, I am married. Okay. When you got married, were you in your 20s? No, 30, 32. Wow, very interesting. Mm. Okay. So, I'm uh, old years teacher. <laughs> you, but you look younger, Iris. So, oh, okay. So, you, you think it's better to, to get married in your 30s? Do you think it's better to wait? For me, yes. Okay, okay, very interesting. Thank you so much. That's a very nice point of view. I mean, guys, you have the experience, so you tell us, you recommend us the best path. Okay, let's take a look at some of these words. We have a skirt, we have grow yesterday, revisamos la palabra grow, right? That is crecer, or we also have growth, that's crecimiento, maturity, you know? Uh, soulmate, so when you are talking about your other naranja, <laughs> your other <laughs> orange, there is not a word in English, but we normally use soulmate. So your soulmate, soulmate. right? Uh -huh. And cuando hablamos de compromiso, um, hay varias formas to say that. We can say comprom uh, compromises, which is okay, but pero en el sentido de relación, you know, en el sentido de el compromiso personal, no de, uh, no de agenda, you know, but things that you say, oh, I will do this, I will do that, and uh, me comprometo a lograrlo. So when we are talking about your personal and moral principles, uh, utilizamos la palabra commit, right? So it's super common and you will Tráeme say this, will this word that is committed, estoy comprometida, so I am committed to do something, right? Or, también vamos a ver a lot commitment. Vamos a ver esta palabra as well. That is a commitment. Solo dame un segundo. I'm not sure si hay alguna letra. I'm not sure if I'm mistaken. Commitment. No, this is the word. La veo rara. I don't know why. Uh, creo que porque está en capital letters. So this is the word commitment, que es el compromiso, right? So um, especially uh, when you are young, probably, so you are not committed, right, to your other person. So in compromises, es más como en el sentido de agenda, right? Oh, I have a couple of compromises. I have a couple of events. I have a couple of things I have to take care of. So guys, very nice opinions. I really love your sentences. We have more here. So um, for example, Judy says, I'd rather visit USA because my family is there. That's a very nice sentence. 
I'd rather stay with my family in Christmas than travel. Christian, what? <laughs> Wait, uh, Christian, I need to I need to listen to these. Um, you say I'd rather stay with my family in Christmas than traveling. Why? Uh, I like my family. <laughs> I mean, yes, but you can tra travel with your family. <laughs> so you I can, can go travel. to another place with them. I can travel another day. Okay, another season. But not this day. Uh -huh. Not Christmas. Oh, not okay. Christmas. I okay. prefer stay with my family. Oh, okay. I and rather... travel another day. Okay, okay. Nice. And dresses, I'd rather wear con glasses than use. Oh, the contact lenses. Okay. Yeah. Nunca he usado. I have never worn them. But se escuchado que son bien uncomfortable. I don't know. Have you ever worn them? Les ha utilizado. Have you ever worn uh, them? Yes, once, but. I eh, fue eh, difícil. It was difficult. Raro, ajá, extra oh. weird en eh, como que incómodo. Okay. That was super uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, I have seen it. He visto solo como se lo ponen and I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> Not for me. I prefer to, you know, wear glasses as well. Okay, guys, very good sentences. I really like them. So, uh, vamos a utilizar hat better luego, you know, because we have a couple of things that we are going to be working with I would rather. So, Questions, people, doubts, um, anything that is not cleared, anything that you're not sure. No questions, no doubts. Pregunten, people. <laughs> Ask questions, please. No questions, nothing. About the topic, no, but I I need, well, I would like to know if you uh, can explain us the, the uh, use of uh, do. Oh, yes. Uh, like, uh, forgive a uh, reason, I think. D-U-E? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Yes, I can definitely go over here. So, we have... Okay. Guys, uh, if, if I confuse you, let me know. Porque pueden ser un poquito confusing both words. Uh, but this is like a very good... A question here. So um, in English, para dar razones, tenemos two expressions. I I'm going to say this in Spanish because I really want to, you know, um, deliver the, the, the difference, you know, the clearer, the clearest way. So um, cuando preguntamos like, oh, why? ¿Por qué no fuiste la fiesta? Why didn't you go to the party? Tengo dos formas de expresar eh, las razones, right? I have you. Normally, va acompañado de to, to, so do to, and I have because. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? We normally use because porque damos una razón. Sin embargo, we can also use do to para dar una razón, pero siempre y cuando sea una razón negativa. You know? So we are going to use do to para expresar las causas de algo que ha salido mal. So normally, this can be used, for example, con el clima, uh, con un evento negativo, with an accident, or something that definitely went wrong. So if I ask you, hey, why didn't uh, you join uh, classes yesterday? Classes yesterday. So probably you may say, oh, porque estaba enfermo, right? So you can say, oh, I didn't come, I didn't join classes because I was sick. And it's okay, se entiende. But también podemos expresar esta idea con due to. Oh, debido a una enfermedad, right? Due to my health. So ya entendí que es algo, algo malo pasó, right? Or due to, um, due to an illness. So no necesito especificar. So, but just when you say due to, ya entendí que algo malo pasó. And we can, you know, give further information, give more info. Or just leave it like this. Y ya due to me dice que fue algo um, que imposibilito. So we can definitely use both. Um, I would say because es el que normalmente utilizamos. But uh, due to es utilizado más en, um, 
ambientes formales, I would say, para especificar algo que pasó, something negative that happened. So, um, or if you say, for example, so why, imagine guys that you're traveling y pues el bus los dejó, right? El tren los dejó, whatever. So why did you miss the bus? So, uh, como cuando el bus nos dejen visto. So, ¿qué pudo haber pasado? What could have happened? So, Don't lo más, turn on. so, lo más común es utilizar because, a menos que es algo realmente malo, right? So, because the alarm, um, porque no sonó, because the alarm didn't, y hay una expresión para sonar que es go off. No, go so, because the alarm didn't go off, porque la alarma no sonó. Mm -hmm. Because. Due to the dry. It was, it was right there, don't see me. <laughs> ah, no. due to... No me pero tendría que... que ser algo muy malo, you know, that ah. happened. <laughs> yo, so, yo como, yeah. Como, yo pensando en que le hago parada al bus y no me mira. <laughs> okay, so because... <laughs> oh, okay, because... The, yeah, the... The, driver, uh, the driver ignored me. <laughs> okay, yeah, because the driver ignored me. <laughs> bueno, pero cuando es algo bueno. muy malo, como debido a... You know, there's somebody, somebody stole my, my wallet, my ah, money. Ah, okay. So I didn't reach the bus due to, debido a un robo, you know, debido a un accidente en el camino. So due to a robbery, uh, due a to an accident, right, on an my accident. way. So, yeah, normalmente no, no tengo que especificar what happened, but this implies something like super bad that it happened. But yes, otherwise, well, because, eh, es, está bien, you know. Incluso podemos decir because of a robbery, pero se oye un poquito extraño. So that would be due to algo muy malo, something really bad. No es necesario que dé further information, aunque si quieren, you can do it. Guys, equations, no sé si los confundes aparte because it's a little, you know, are you good? You. No yes. worries. I'm glad we got it. Okay. So guys, uh, coming back to the would rather part, if you take a look here, tenemos would rather and then a verb. So recordemos que no le voy a agregar to. I would rather to go. Mm -mm. I would rather go. I would rather to study. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I would rather study. I would rather go. Yeah, I would rather go. I would rather live. I would rather be. So not to be. We never used to. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Here we have a little conversation between Francis, Danny. We have would rather or negative form. So we can use both of them. Uh, Danny says, let's go to London by car. What do you think that Danny replies over here? Oh, uh, no, let's copy las opciones. I didn't copy the uh, choices here. Okay, guys, I'll give you five minutes. Okay. So can you give me a reply, ya sea positiva o negativa, with this conversation? We have Francis Danny, Michael Rachel, Ron Jean. So son conversaciones diferentes. Liz Rina, Nora Sheila, Vera, and Simon. So at the beginning, Francis says, let's go to London by car. So puedo decir que sí, o puedo decir que prefiero algo más, right? O prefiero, o oh, que no me gusta, I, I don't want to. I would, I would rather go to by airplane. Ah, very good. I would rather go by airplane. Exactly. Or the, if I don't want to go to London. I'd rather go to London by so. Like subway. Yes. Yes, I'd rather go to London by subway. Okay. Or I'd rather oh. not go. <laughs> okay, so I'd rather not go so, or whatever um, choice you can have. I'd rather uh, go to London by train. Ah, yes, by subway, by train. Walking from El Salvador, you know, <laughs> so, by foot. <laughs> so we have a lot of possibilities. Um, the second one says, do you prefer to go to Italy or France this summer? Guys, 
what would you reply? Do you prefer to go to Italy or to France this summer? I would, I would rather, I would rather go to Italy. I'd rather go to Italy. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, and the rest. No, oh, France, you know. <laughs> so guys, do you, do you prefer to go to France or Italy this summer? Adolfo says Italy. Yeah. Why? I prefer France. You prefer France. Why, Judy? Why? Because... Um, quiero conocer. No sé cómo es. <laughs> because I want to know the place. Okay. I want to know the city. I want to know the country. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right, guys, what about the rest? Italy or France? Do you prefer to go to Italy or France? I prefer to go to Italy. Why? Because I taste different kind of pizza. No, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> so you rather go to Italy just because yeah. of the pizza? Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> what? No, Daniel, suggest because. There is an expression that we can use that is solo porque si, sí, right? Just because or just because of the pizza. Solo por la pizza, right? So just because of the pizza. Oh, okay. Uh, pizza tower. Oh, the pizza tower. Okay. So I'd rather go to France, guys, uh, because I'm learning French. So I can practice uh, the, um, the, I don't know, how are you? The ça va, you know? <laughs> and oh, the, all those okay. expressions. Um, so take a look at this one. What did Alice tell you? Next one. I want to say, ni te digo. Mejor ni te digo. How can I reply that? What did Alice tell you? Can you give me some I ideas? Wouldn't uh -huh. yes? I, I would I would re, I would rather say anything. Mm -hmm. I, would I would rather, rather Okay, okay, Anything. that expression is really good. So lo que necesitamos hacerlo negativa. So I would rather, I like it. I will so not. I would rather say. Say. I would rather say not. Not say. Okay, there are a lot of ways here that we can say that. I would rather say, está bien, y usted me dijo anything. The anything. idea is okay, pero anything no es una palabra negativa. And I want to say, mejor no te digo nada. Prefiero nothing. No uh -huh, exactly. So I would rather say nothing. Prefiero no decir nada. But, I'd rather say but, nothing. What is the other way? I would, I would rather not say I would rather not, not say. say. Y ahora sí puedo utilizar anything. So I would anything, rather not say right. anything. Mejor no digo nada. So I would rather not say anything. Uh, Christian, I think you had I a different answer. Say anything. No, I just this is I say. <laughs> the, the same the same mm -hmm. oh okay okay so yeah i mean we can have different ways like i would rather not tell you for example so i would rather not not tell you i would rather not say anything i would rather say nothing so we have a lot of different ways to answer this um guys next one L let me see let me ask so people know me no no i mean do you feel like going to the movies this evening no i will rather no go to the movies this evening very nice sounds really good so next one uh, angelica hey angelica what's the matter Mm -hmm. And we have, I don't feel well. I would rather stay in, uh, stay in home and don't see anybody. <laughs> oh, very nice. 
<laughs> okay, wow, Miss, what's wrong? <laughs> okay, I, I really like the answer, you know, not the situation, but the answer is really nice. So what's the matter? I don't feel well. I would rather stay at home. Very good. Um, the next one, guys, says, would you like some coffee? So um, Kenya, would you like some coffee? Imagine that you don't want coffee, but you want something different. I would rather meat better. Ah, I would rather the, yes. So look, I need to drink milk. Yes, perfect. I would rather drink milk. I would rather have milk. It's very common to use have. I would rather have milk. I would rather take some milk. Very nice. Okay, guys. Okay, people, you are ready for this. So you rock it. Very good job. So give me just a moment. Got a couple of exercises. And here in your material, you have this little conversation that says, make suggestions about how to deal with market saturation. And we have a little bit of would prefer and a rather, right? So remember, this is rather, rather. So the conversation is between Rena and Julio. No sé si logran ver mi pantalla. If not, uh, you can always, let me see if I can make this bigger porque está super pequeña. It's pretty, pretty small. I don't know what's going on. And uh, no. Um, mm -mm, I don't think it's working. <laughs> okay, guys. Only, so only, only only use the, the Zoom picture. Es que está como, um, I don't know, kind of faded for some reason. Se ve como descolorida. It's kind of faded, but um, yo no la logro ver. Okay, creo que se ve un poco más uh, definida now. Okay, no quiero que usen lentes, guys. I don't want you to wear like um, glasses for this or to hard your eyes. Okay, so here we have this conversation between Rina, Julio, Daniel, please uh, help me with Rina's part. All right, with the first one. And uh, let me see. Hi, Rafael, good evening. Hi, teacher. How you doing, Rafa? Uh, Judy, please help me with Julia's part. Okay. okay. So whenever you uh, are ready, Daniel. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they're disgracing. Mm -hmm. You're right. I thought it is no surprise with this competition. Oh, okay. I, I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the products, you know? However, we have in this invested invested a lot in this product we would rather relaunch launch. that product launch the product than discontinue it oh thank you so much guys all right very good guys quick question what was the meaning of withdraw we checked that yesterday what was Retirar. withdraw Okay, retirar, right. exactly. Remove a product, right? Remove the product. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And the other one, we have a couple of words that are very important. So that is deal with. So, for example, it says here, um, I agree, we must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. So, guys, can you give me some examples using deal with? So what uh, is deal with? Uh, good, good price, for example. Okay, mm. so who do you normally deal with? So let's take a look at the meaning of the expression deal with. So deal with is tratar, right? Manejar 
Um, the example here says we must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. So debemos de encontrar una forma como lidiar con eso. Guys, if we are talking about your personal day-by-day -day situation, who do you normally deal with? ¿Con quiénes tratan? ¿Con quiénes tienen que relacionarse? Who do you normally deal with? My boss. Your boss, yes. With the clients. With clients, customers, yeah. Customer, yeah. Co-workers, compañeros de trabajo, right? Co-workers yes. too. Yeah. And Judy is like, yes. <laughs> Why, Judy? Okay. So yeah, co-workers, bosses, neighbors sometimes. So a veces no todos los eh, vecinos son buenos vecinos, right? So neighbors sometimes. Uh, what else, guys? ¿Qué más? What else? Hmm. My traffic. case is or transportistas. Pilots. Ah, okay. Transporter. Okay. So, no sé si es de la supply chain. Uh, yes. Or providers or transport. Supply chain. Supply okay. chain. It's a, a combine about. We uh, have different products. Custom, and, transport, uh, ocean transport. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, super nice. I want to work in the ocean. <laughs> okay, wow, sounds really, really nice. But again, difficult too, because it's difficult people to deal with. So, deal with is this, right? Lidiar, tratar, or have a relationship with. This is a very nice word that we can include in our vocabulary. So try to use it whenever you can, guys. So tratar with somebody, deal with that person, right? Okay. So, um, guys, yesterday, estábamos hablando un poquito. Eh, I'm going to just jump to another one, ahora que hablamos del vocabulario de ayer. Because yesterday, estábamos hablando a little bit about um, some products, uh, you know, que de alguna forma han sido descontinuados, uh, withdrawn, you know, from the market. And um, estábamos hablando yesterday about advantages, disadvantages of a couple of products. So vamos ahora, uh, I mentioned yesterday, but vamos a presentar today part of the things that you found with advantages and disadvantages. Teníamos un par de grupos. So I remember some of you were talking about the light bulb, telephone, creo que habían tres grupos talking about it. Uh, I remember one group had the thermometer, Otro grupo tenía printing. Creo que me faltan like two people from that group. And no sé si alguien más tenía paper and wheel. So guys, vamos a armar los grupos. We are going to make groups solamente para practicar a little bit about it. And, uh, eh, you know, recap. Recordarse un poquito qué fue lo que discutieron ayer. And then so we can present the topics. Um, guys, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Let's do the following. Let me see, para que ustedes puedan ir a los grupos. So, uh, Adolfo, Adolfo's group. ¿Con quién estaba ayer, Adolfo? Oh, let me remember. Mm -hmm. Guys, ¿quién estaba con Adolfo? Who was working with Adolfo yesterday? Um, Me and Margarita. Okay, Margarita. thank you so much. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, uy, no, 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 no. No se vayan, guys. Don't join the session. ¿Qué pasó? Okay. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so. Not now. No, 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 no. I'm going to close them. Es que algo pasó and they shouldn't be that way. Okay, guys. So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. So, um, Adolfo's group. Nos vamos a ir al grupo número uno. You're going to be number one. And uh, se unen a la sesión número uno. Eh, Cristian, ¿con quién estaba ayer? Mm, creo que se llamaba Karen. Karen. No me recuerdo. Karen. Karen. ¿Yuri? Conmigo. Ah, sí. Ay, no. <risa> ya le cambiaron el nombre. Tú. <risa> ok, so guys, estaban con Cristian. Nos vamos al grupo dos. Angelique, who was in your group? No, I mean. Ah, okay, no, and me. So, nos vamos al grupo número tres. You're going to join group number three. Um, Andrea, ¿quién estaba en su grupo? Who was in your group? Daniel. Okay. 
So, Andrea, nos vamos al grupo número cuatro. You're going to join group number four. So, Daniel se va al cuatro. Eh, Helen, ¿con quién estaba? Do you remember? Con Don Carlos. Con Carlos. Ok, so nos vamos al número cinco. We're going to join group number five. And, uh, eh, ¿quién me hace falta? Gaby, ¿con quién estaba? Who were you with? Uh, Rafael and another girl that I don't remember. Okay, guys. So, se estaban con Gaby. Rafa, nos vamos al grupo número seis. You're going to be joining group number six. And uh, me hacen falta algunos here, but no estoy segura si pudieron participar el día de ayer. Eh, Arnoldo, ¿estuvo Arnoldo con alguno de ustedes, guys? No, really. Kenia? Iris ya está. Ok. So, si me falta alguien, let me know. Ok, ahora sí. Eh, vamos a crear los grupos, but, 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 but. Volver a crear. Deme un segundo que esto no es. Five, one, two, three, four. Son seis grupos. We got six. Ok. Ok, guys. Solo les explico cómo vamos a entrar. Les aparece que están siendo invitados a grupos, but no les da el número de sala. So what we gotta do, guys, es vamos a entrar y vamos a seleccionar el número donde dice unirse. Uh, for example, si su grupo está, um, si el día de ayer estuvieron with Adolfo, so vamos y entramos a la sala número uno, le damos unirnos y eso es todo. So you are going to select today the groups. Including me. Yes, please. Including okay. yourself. There we go. So seleccionamos. Exactly, guys. Thank you so much. Very nice. Oh, you got it. Nice, nice. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Sorry, teacher. I heard you say Sala 5 for me, but there is nobody out. Oh, mm, mm, estaba con okay. Helen. Were you working with Helen yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Permítame, si no lo, lo voy a invitar here. Give me one second. Porque no sé si Helen, it's gonna be there. Eh, si Helen no, no se une, me avisa, please. Let me know, porque no sé si está trabajando. Ahorita lo voy. I'm gonna send you there. There you go. Me confirma si puede ver la invitación, please.
Illumination. Ah, ahí está la ah, teacher. Tal vez ah. le preguntamos. Teacher. Nota. Yeah, yes, I'm here. But I was not able to unmute it. Tell me, tell me. That's a... Ah, veo we are, we're talking about the advantage the light bulb and variety of colors. No the lo variety of color is considered as advantage. I don't know. If we are talking about decor, yes. Uh, como para propósito de, de decoración, agri, um, uh, ¿cómo se llama esto? Um, oh, architecture. Sure. So, uh -huh. so, yes, it is considered uh, an advantage. Maybe variety of uh, colors, size. Um, what is the other one? I don't think it's voltage. Let me check. Light. Voltage. Uh, yeah, probably you can use, as you say, uh, a variety of maybe colors maybe lumens or maybe voltage so uh, because remember that dependiendo para que lo use so necesito un voltaje específico so yes you can use like a couple of you know things there i would say hmm. guys this was a, a hard topic i think <laughs> this was a little difficult i would say wasn't it uh, i think it's not Hard, mm, like how many? Not uses? much, not much. Teacher. Really? Okay. Because to think about the disadvantages of a light bulb for me, it's really hard. So okay, okay. I really want to know about it. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I wouldn't tell you if it is an advantage that it has colors. However, I know that depending on the industry. Uh, it is an advantage that you can change, for example, uh, the colors, but in decor or in the, uh, architecture. Oh. So maybe. Mm. I think the color is an advantage if it's in for about some time. For example, the traffic signals, the semaphores, green, yellow, red. Is necessary. <laughs> Se fue la ticha. No, mm -hmm. I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good point. Exactly, because you can use it in traffic lights. Um, you can use them. It's know. always Merry there. Christmas. <laughs> For a special occasions, probably. Uh -huh. Or to call, or in advertisement, I would say. So it's super mm -hmm. útil in anuncios televisivos or like in any kind of advertisement to call people's attention, uh, what else? Merry Christmas. Yeah, for the special celebrations like Christmas, New Year's Eve, uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, um, I don't know guys, <laughs> what are the advantages? <laughs> for the car, for the... Oh yes, that uh -huh. is very necessary. Yes, that's right. So you can light, you can light your way, or you can light some parts of your house, or if you are working at night, so you can light 
uh, those areas. Uh, remember that the word light is como iluminar, right? When we're talking about light bulb. Yeah. So we can just light the iluminar or, or encender something. So you can use the word light. In those días in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at the night. In the night is, is not correct, right? In the night, no, that would be at. At, at night. night. At the night. At night. At night. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can say in the evening, um, but at night, that would be the one. Hmm. Place. Okay. Place in at night. I think so. It's okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay, finish. I we think finish so. our teacher. Okay, guys, very nice. So disadvantages have not a good sign of the new models. Definitely more appealing. Oh, I like that. Then the oldest nowadays we can do things with the because the company is similar because the company. Okay, um, just a question, guys, because I see that in disadvantages, um, it says nowadays we can do anything in the cell phone, pero eso sería una ventaja, right? That is an advantage that you yeah. can do everything. That sentence, that sentence is, is an, another paragraph because oh. at the first time, we can list the this the advantage and disadvantage, but in this case, it's a some it's a paragraph. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Because, because, uh, okay. Because the company are similar features. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, lo que pasa es que lo vi el otro lado, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I think that was a problem. Okay, um, but what about disadvantages? Because I think that telephone, I mean, I don't know if you're talking about like home telephones or like portable telephones, como los teléfonos celulares, like cell phones. Because if that is the case, hay muchas des des uh, uh, there are a lot of disadvantages. Hay muchas desventajas, guys. Really? For example? Yes. Um, I mean, I think that with cell phones, now that cell phones exist, communication is faster. Yeah. But because communication is faster, people are becoming less patient. And they want an answer in that very moment. Yeah. Uh, for example, if I call Iris, uh, or if I send Iris a WhatsApp uh, and she doesn't answer, I will get angry. <laughs> um, so okay. I think that people are not patient anymore. Uh, they don't value, you know, communication. That is mm -hmm. one thing. The other one is that because of the cell phones, um, you can control people or you can, no, 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 control, no. You can monitor people or you can track yeah people and that is bad so track is como seguir el rastro de alguien so you can yeah. track people mm -hmm. and you that can happens. view every uh -huh. especially with, with gps yeah so mm -hmm. imagine that you have you can, um, you can track the the car the car for example exactly and i uh, think that that is bad for security location Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's so a disadvantage. I think that's bad. Yeah. Um, also, I think that everybody has like all your personal information is in your cell phone, passwords, bank account, uh, ID. So okay. if your cell phone is robbed, uh, yeah. you you become very vulnerable 
because yeah. they have access to your information, they have access to your pictures, they can hack you by having your cell phone. So guys, I bastante desventas. <laughs> there are a lot of disadvantages, I think. Well, okay, we I, I see them that way. No, I mean, you got like a very good point, but I don't know. I'm considerado any other because I see here that all cell phones have a, a didn't have a good signal or signal. Oh, and that's all right. Um, anything else? Um, it's, uh, it's so expensive. For example, mm -hmm. and and you need to be uh, uh, to make a actualization every every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's right. Yeah, yeah, you have to you have to pay exactly. uh, for application. Exactly. So that is a really good point that companies um, they make more money. Because yeah. they, um, there is a word we can use con los teléfonos que es update, que son las, uh, como ese proceso de actualización. Update, update, mm -hmm. right. So the computer, cell phones, they update the applications and you need to pay. That's totally right. Okay, guys, we have, um, oh, because of the time, we gotta go back. But if you're ready, that sounds good. Creo que otro grupo también tiene ese tema, so vamos a compartirlo there. Give me That's just good. a moment, hold on, and we go back. Uh, Daniel, so your camera is back. Ya se le arregló un poco el internet. Is your internet yes. back? Yes, because my, my all my family is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and don't don't use don't use the cell don't use the cell phone. <laughs> yes, cierto, that's right. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> no, no recordaba esa parte. You know that at 8 p.m. todos están viendo películas. Everybody is on the yes. you know, internet. Yes. Y por eso es que el internet se vuelve uh, más lento, right? <laughs> y ahorita ya se durmieron. Ya se, en las nueve en adelante se durmieron todos. <laughs> so after 9 p.m. <laughs> ya yes. vuelve el, el, you know, el internet más rápido and everything. <laughs> Más el vecino también le quita señal. You know? ah, no, no, ya le cambiamos la, ya cambiamos la clave. Tengo que cambiarla. I need to change it too. Okay, no, but, but yeah, it's, it's cierto. It's you're right. What is, what is the, what is the color of your blue? Oh. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, my is, blouse is white or black. Uh, o se le, es como punteadita, so it's kind of polka dot. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of polka it, dot. It's it, 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 it confusing with the, with the black. No, what, what, con el fungo. Yeah, what happens is that um, I have, tengo el filtro, right? De, del mm -hmm. colorcito. So okay. I have the filter. Y con algo blanco se desaparece. Ah, ah, <laughs> so okay. if I move a little bit. Como, uh -huh. como, it's like uh, you, you have. Eh, ¿Cómo es? Cuesta. On. Eh, on the, the Harry Potter. Eh, eh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sounds Harry like Potter. a dumb. Uh -huh. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's because of that. Wait. Pero es que um, no recuerdo cómo quitarlo. I don't remember how to remove it. But, yeah, está bien, no, pues. um, but no, you know, and it's super crazy porque normalmente tengo la luz acá encendida. Si la apago, desaparezco. <laughs> so if I turn it off, uh, I, or if okay. I move it, you know, so literally I disappear. Wait, ¿cómo era? I don't remember, but if I move it, like my face disappears. <laughs> super crazy. Okay, uh, guys, uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Um, Actually, estaba revisando algunos grupos and I think you got it. You have very nice ideas on advantages and disadvantages that we can share. 
So let's get started. Creo que algunos grupos tenemos bastante similares. So we can uh, put them together. Um, guys, comencemos con cell phone or telephone, porque creo que two or three groups, they have something very similar. So uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, el grupo de Carlos, right? Carlos, your group has uh, telephones. So uh, I'm not sure that was Carlos, Carlos and Helen. ¿Cuál era el tema yes, que teacher. tenía? Yes, right. You were yeah. talking about telephones. Eh, creería yes. que también Angelica's group. <coughs> Angelica y Noemi, no worries. Eh, también tenían telephones, guys. Yes. Ok. Yes. We got telephones too. And el grupo de... Mm, I also, Iris and Adolfo, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got three groups with telephones. Okay, guys, so cuéntenos, tell us, please. Um, what are some advantages of telephones? Well, creo okay, que that's easier. Comencemos con las disadvantages, guys. What are the disadvantages of telephones or cell phones? One of them is no internet connection. Oh, oh telephones, like the home, line. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So no internet connection. Okay. Just call. Yeah, that's Just right. Call. Okay. So there is no internet connection. No way to surf the internet. Okay. Anything else, guys? Um, no, not very attractive designs. Ah, okay. Like home phones. Yeah, they are like they are big and they are not attractive. All right. They are not appealing. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Call telephone has not a good signal. Exactly. So they don't have a good one. Oh, and the violence, guys. What about violence? No sé si tenían prepago, postpago. Uh, what about the balance or the credit? El saldo. So what about the credit or the balance? I remember they were expensive. The, 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 the invoices were expensive. Ah, okay. So they were expensive. I, I don't remember, you know. I had a phone, a telephone a long time ago. <laughs> okay. So they were expensive, you said. All right. So we, call, yeah. we normally call saldo, balance, or credit. Balance um, of credit. Mm -hmm, that is saldo. Uh, okay. Anything else? Do we have anything else of disadvantages? Maybe there is discontinue. They have been discontinued. Guys, ¿quién tiene teléfono de casa? Who has a telephone at home? No. Nobody? No. Me, me. No, me, really? Teacher. Daniel yeah. Iris. Oh. I have, but it's, it's not working. <laughs> okay, you have one, but it's not working. Me, because my mother don't have cell phone. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. no, but you need to buy her one. <laughs> I like, but don't like it. She doesn't like it. Oh, my mom doesn't <laughs> like cell phones uh, porque eran muy pequeños, you know, and she couldn't see very well. Pero ahora, you know, solo en Facebook pasa. So she spends a lot of time <laughs> in Facebook. Okay, but as you said, ya no funcionan that much. They don't work um, as they did in the past. Okay, what about advantages of telephones or cell phones? Any of them? What are the advantages, guys? Better communication? Yeah. Um, better communication and different use. Different use. Don't have yeah, because you 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 can't so, use the GPS, for example, to measure some area. Okay. Okay. And control control other uh, domestic uh, in your home. You can uh, control the TV. You can control the light. You can control well 
almost everything <laughs> if you have okay. an automated system in your home. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a good point. Anything else? Um, can be a, you found different models, colors, sites. Okay, yes, definitely. And uh, not just the old boring black telephone. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so that's a good point. Thank you guys, very nice. Let's go with one more. Uh, I remember you were talking yesterday about printing. Guys, ¿qué tenía este tema? Who had printing? Who chose this one? <laughs> Rafael and I. <laughs> oh, okay. So guys, what are the advantages and disadvantages of printing? Okay, the advantages are that as better for health because your eyes don't get too much damage mm -hmm. if you have a right or a correct uh, light. And they, you can, if you save it uh, very well, you can save or your memories forever. Mm -hmm. um, also, you can touch it anytime that you want um, and anyone could use it. it even people that don't have the internet, uh, I'm sorry, um, technology items. So anyone could have it and remember their or having their memories again. Mm -hmm. And also you don't need energy to use it. Okay, okay. I, even, you know, I love printed books. I definitely preferred or to have the hard copy, you know, rather than PDF. So I'm not- Yeah, it's easier um, to use. Definitely, I agree on that. Okay, Rafa, disadvantages. What are some of the disadvantages of printing material? Uh, for example, filling uh, of trees or, or damage to environment. Okay. Uh, and if you need more carefully, and with your books or space and you need a physical space yes yeah it's uh, more difficult than transportation oh okay or transport and high cost yes um, uh, it's not easy to obtain the information. Mm, okay. So, only teacher. Oh, you kind of covered the whole thing. All right. So, guys, do you have anything else to add on printing or printed material? So I think that they already mentioned how difficult it is to move them, to transport them, the cost, the damage to the environment, anything yeah. else? Any disadvantage of having books at home? I think you covered the whole thing. But Maybe the cost. The cost, right? So it's kind of expensive. But I still, I love printed books. <laughs> yeah. I love the hard It's cover, better. You know? Yeah, I yeah. definitely prefer them. So, oh, and something else. Uh, printed material makes you dizzy. <laughs> so, no sé si les ha pasado, guys, but if you are reading in the bus or in a car or something, so you get dizzy. So, yes. um, uh -huh, and you almost vomit, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I agree on that. Thank you guys. Uh, let's go with light bulb. I think that this was Iris and Christian, right? Right. Okay, tell That's us guys, right. what are the advantages of light bulbs? I have a, a, a PowerPoint. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Let me stop presenting here. There you go. Okay. Um, the advantage, uh, they are very useful when we need to do something at night. For example, to work, to read. Uh, they are used to inform about something, for example, the traffic signals. Mm. to maintain safe, safe 
public place in the night. Uh, disadvantage, uh, light bulbs are very fragile. They can be broken with a little impact. Uh, they aren't friendly with the environment. Oh, okay. Depending on its power, they can consume a lot of energy. Okay. Uh, uh, there are some people that are photosensible. Mm, there are some people who can distinguish, dis distinguish. Mm -hmm. distinguish colors. Okay. Uh, their lifetime is relatively short, oh. uh, around 1,000 hours. Do they have a lifetime? Oh, interesting. I didn't know. OK, so I normally said, oh, OK. So it's it got you know broken or it's burned. I didn't know that they have a lifetime. Okay, interesting guys. Thanks a lot for the presentation. That looks very cool. All right, guys, that was a very nice one. Thanks a lot for bringing all your arguments, all your ideas on all these different uh, products that we uh, definitely use, but have been modified over the time. Guys, uh, antes de terminar today's session, uh, just ayúdenme please con su camarita un momento. Help me out with your camera just a moment. And uh, give me just a second. Hold on. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. And me regalé confirmación verbal, please, that you are here. So, creo que estamos todos, but alguien tenía problemas con el inter. Eh, Adolfo, solo me regala confirmación, please. Okay. Thank I'm you. Here. Andrea. Present. Thank you so much. Carlos. Here. Thank you, Carlos. Christian. Present. Thank you. Delmi. Okay, let me see so. Uh, Helen? I'm here to check. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Imelda, no, Imelda's not here. Iris? Present. Thank you. I like your name. That's a very cool name. Arnoldo? Arnoldo Sisaka. Thank you. Kenya? Present. Teacher. Thank you so much. Angelica? Yeah. Gabby. Present. No, I mean. Uh, Rafa. I'm here. Here, Yuri. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. And Daniel. Okay, Thank guys. So thanks a lot for joining, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Solo no se les va a olvidar empezar a trabajar en la plataforma, please. Eh, Daniel, regálame un par de minutitos, please. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, Have everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Give me one moment here. Give me just a sec. Oh, there you go. Okay, Daniel. Thank you so much for staying. Uh, pretty much, eh, le comento eh, porque le voy a robar un par de minutitos. <laughs> so, normalmente yeah, nosotros al final de nuestras clases tenemos algo que se llama sesiones one on one. So, la sesión mm. 101 es como un momento eh, solamente con usted, precisamente para saber eh, cuáles son sus necesidades con respecto al inglés, you know, por qué lo estamos estudiando, eh, saber si tiene preguntas con los temas que hemos visto, con la plataforma. And, pues, es esa oportunidad de tener un acercamiento o algo más personalizado, right? En vez mm. de hacerlo con los 20, pues, hacerlo uno a uno. So, mm. eh, then el primero, eh, quiero agradecerle porque lo he visto acá súper tempranito estos días, you know, participando, eh, tiene muy buen manejo de vocabulario, eh, se comunica mm. bastante bien. You communicate your ideas super, super nicely. So, um, me imagino, obviamente, que usted había estudiado antes. Eh, ¿Cuál es el objetivo, Daniel, to study English? Pues, fíjese que realmente 
de haber estudiado antes, no. Oh, eh, okay. pero, pero sí, sí comencé desde el, desde el principio, desde el, ¿cuál es el, el primero de ustedes, el, el principiante uno? Ah, el, el, okay. el, el más básico, básico uh -huh. uno. Okay. Desde ahí he comenzado, ¿verdad? Y ahí anteriormente un, un inglés básico de, de la escuela, ¿verdad? Noveno grado, octavo, mm. noveno grado, palabra básica. Oh. Eh, pero más que todo, eh, porque lo que pasa es que yo trabajo directamente con personal norteamericano. That's why, okay. En, en, entonces, este, es una de esas, es una, una razón por la cual I need to, know, I need to, to practice my English. Oh. Eh, 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 es, eh, es, This is the risk, uh, principal reason oh. for learn English. Yeah, because I would say uh, pretty much you communicate your ideas very nicely. So, lo que necesita at this point, eh, tiene dificultades con, con listening, con el oído, or we are good? Un poco, un poco. Oh, ¿Qué, qué eh, considera que le cuesta más? Eh, creo que más que todo como la, el acento de la persona, porque platico con varias personas, eh, que creo que depende del área de donde son ellos, porque hay, hay, por lo menos hay gente morena, de color, ¿verdad? Que sí, no les entiendo, no sé. Si hay. Ah, okay. y, hay otro, y hay otras personas que sí se les, les, les comprendo bastante bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, es una, y a veces le meten, ellos le meten mucha, muchas palabras, entonces yo me quedo, ¿what? O sea, Please, uh, okay. please talk to me uh, a, little, a little slower. A little slower, exactly. exactly. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, so besides listening, ¿qué más considera que, que, que tiene necesidades con, eh, le cuesta un poquito o necesita más vocabulario, más fluidez? Porque usted se conoce mejor que nadie, you know? So you mm -hmm. are the person who says, ah, me falta sí, esto. Sí, pienso que, que, uh -huh. que más, quizás como más fluidez pensar. Un poco más pensar, de fluidez, ok. En, en, y pensar más en inglés, porque a veces yo... Eh, 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 Piensan mucho en español. Pienso, exacto, exacto. Es lo que, es, es Van traduciendo. Exacto, voy traduciendo okay. literalmente, digamos así, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. eh, eh, eso sería uno de mis principales, eh, eh, lo que más necesito reforzar, pensar en inglés. Igual, a veces me, me sucede cuando estamos hablando en español, uh -huh. cuando estoy hablando así con otra persona, uh -huh. estoy pensando cómo decirlo en inglés. Se le van trabajando las ideas. Eh, okay. Exacto, o cuando, o cuando estoy viendo alguna película o qué sé yo, algún documental oh. o algo, pienso, voy, voy pensando cómo decirlo en inglés. Entonces, oh, okay. ahí, yeah, no yeah, con la manera de siempre mantener la mente activa, como digamos así. No, pero eso es muy, muy, muy bueno. Ok, vamos a hacer un ejercicio, Dan, súper cortito, eh, para ver eh, primero su nivel como de reacción, let's say. And esta parte de pensar en inglés. Eh, si usted piensa en español y al mismo tiempo su cerebro está procesando información en inglés, entonces significa que va a ser mucho más fácil. So, uh -huh. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Okay. Le voy a hacer un par de preguntas y necesito que me las responda lo más rápido que pueda. Right? Um, no importa si está correcto o incorrecto, uh, so, solamente respóndame la the best way you can. All right? uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, Daniel, ¿cuál es tu last name? My last name is Luna. How old are you? Uh, 48 years, years old. Do you have babies? Yes, I have a baby two years, two years, two and a half years old. A boy or a girl? Uh, a boy. Oh, okay. Uh, does your boy live in El Salvador? Yes, yes, we live in El Salvador. Oh, and do you live in San Salvador or where do you live? In San Salvador, yes. You live in San Salvador, near, okay. Near, near to, near to Escabio Cusaclam. Ah, okay, very nice. Uh, where do you work? I work um, in a private uh, base. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a base from, it's a, I'll say, it's a Air Force base from US, US Army. Oh, sounds really nice. Okay. It's next, uh, it's next, next to International Airport. Ah, very cool. Okay. What do you do? Yeah, I am in my 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 job. Yes. Is a uh, air marshaler. Is where agent agent Trump is the 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 the, the agent Trump. Yes. Where you. I am parking, I, I am parking the airplane. 
Oh, super yes, cool. Where, but private. Where, where, where the, the airplane arrived to, oh. to the to the to the place. Uh -huh. I I I am a uh, uh, say I am the first person uh -huh. who is the pilot C. Ah, super cool. But uh -huh. can you fly? Can you can you fly airplanes? No, 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 no. You cannot. No. Yeah, okay, I cannot. I, I only came parking. <laughs> no, but that is difficult, because, right? So yeah, yeah, because, you need because, to guide them. Yeah, yeah, guide them and, and I I I have a training about international international hangman hangman hands. Oh, super cool. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. ah, oh, mm -hmm. but very nice. That sounds like a really good job. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, the, only, the only guy you like it is uh, is a lot of time under the sun. Yeah, uh, yes. This is I the only. This is the only this is the only the bad, this uh -huh, especially in summer <laughs> days or in winter days because and it's raining. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's still it's a good job. Oh, I like that job. <laughs> Sounds like a very cool one. Question, Daniel. Yes. Pensó alguna respuesta en español? No. <laughs> okay. Bueno, eh, eh, me quedé con la de la. Cuando, Cuando empezó a dar un poco de explicación, ¿right? Exacto, ajá, pero así, okay. en, en la, así respondiendo así, uh -huh. eh, eh, re, respuesta rápida, no, y un solo la decía. Pero, pero sí, la, cuando, ya, cuando ya quería explicar, entonces ahí ya se me trababa un poquito. La... Ok, no, but, but super, super good. Significa que sí tenemos, you know, sí procesamos las preguntas en inglés. Muy buen listening, by the way, uh, porque no le estaba hablando tan lento. So I was speaking to you like in a normal pace. So mm -hmm. vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios, especialmente para listening, eh, porque necesitamos quizás escuchar diferentes... Eh, Acentos, right? Eh, as you said, cada persona, cada país tiene un acento mucho más pesado, más fuerte, o eh, pues simplemente nuestra voz es muy diferente. Eh, ¿Verdad que está en el grupo? ¿Perdón? ¿Es verdad que está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, sí, ahí estoy. Sí. ¿Cómo, ¿Cuáles son los últimos dos dígitos? Oh, ya lo vi. Hey, eh, 209 también. 209, hi there. Ok, uh -huh. nice. Vamos entonces a hacer lo siguiente. Le voy a enviar un ejercicio. Eh, so, no es para que lo haga ahorita, no es para que se vaya a desvelar. <risa> right? eh, pero son ejercicios de listening. So, vamos yeah. a comenzar con eh, ejercicios de... Uh, Vamos a comenzar ejercicios específicos porque quiero que escuche como a niños, you know, gente adulta, etc. So, el primer ejercicio es el que le voy a compartir ahorita. Eh, escúchalo, puede escucharlo todas las veces que quieran. Y ahí tenemos eh, un par de preguntas. Entonces, cuando usted entra, eh, tiene listening, le da clic en listening. Y tiene cinco preguntas. Entonces, acá están como las respuestas también. No le puedo mostrar, creo. So, están como las respuestas. Selecciona la respuesta uh -huh. que usted considera correcta al final, cuando ya haya escuchado. E inmediatamente uh -huh. va a ver cuál es, si la respuesta está bien o la respuesta está mal. Eh, igual, abajo, más abajo del ejercicio, hay algo que dice transcript. Entonces, usted puede escucharlo nuevamente. Y puede leerlo también, que es lo que la persona va diciendo. Le comparto este ejercicio porque es un niño hablando y pues el acento es bien fuerte. Es un poquito complicado de entenderle. Eh, uh -huh. Comencemos con este ejercicio. Me cuenta cómo le va, cuántas veces lo escuchó, you know, eh, si entendió la información. Y de acuerdo a eso vemos si podemos seguir trabajando con audios this way o que otro tipo de ejercicio eh, cambiamos, right, para ir mejorando también nuestro, eh, el entender diferentes acentos. So, okay, cuando usted yeah. tenga tiempo, y no es necesario que lo haga ahorita, el ejercicio es de do, uno o dos minutos, lo puede hacer en el almuerzo, cuando esté libre, right, and, mm -hmm. y me envía, pues, eh, la nota que saque, right, and you send me the, the score you get. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's thank do you. that. Okay, okay. you're Perfect. welcome. So, Daniel, nice okay. talking to you. Thank you so much okay. for the time. Y nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Okay, okay. Have good a night. good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.